Guys, welcome back to the arena. I like arena a lot, don't at me. Well, I'm not, I wouldn't do that because I'm going to play arena right now, so I wouldn't at you. Anyway, we are going to do another competitive draft guilds of Ravnica. Competitive draft guilds of Ravnica. That's a weird... The syntax here is throwing me off a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna enter this thing, and I I don't if you guys were here for the last one, you can check it out on YouTube. Um, it would it'll say instead of Magic Online, and the title is MTG Arena, and we went like five six one five one five one, and uh, you can check that out. And I think it's fine. I think it went well. Sorry that cars have ninety versus ninety degrees hot garbage. Oh man. I hook. I, I definitely didn't say... I didn't definitely didn't call Hunter that. I'm pretty sure I said Son of a Biscuit. Anyway, here we are, starting this draft. Chromatic Lantern's a pretty good start. So is Direct Current. Do you think this Direct Current comes back? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. Just draft six on-color Mythics and you'll be fine. I agree with you. That sounds correct. I think it's Chromatic Lantern. Ooh, I don't like that you, you click it once and it, and it goes. You should have to click it twice. What goes well with Chromatic Lantern? Deadly Visit? Deadly Visit's got to be the strongest card in this pack. Ionize is good. I like Conclave Guild Mage and Gird for Battle. I like uh, Notion Rain. <sighs> I'm going to take Deadly Visit here. Oh, I like a Demir Spy Bug. I also like a Direct Current. Considering we just took a Deadly Visit, I'm probably going to stick with the Spy Bug. Uh, we're obviously sending some good Direct Current signals. Just kidding. They're all robots. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> if you're listening, I'm sorry. Uh, I have the utmost respect for robots. And when the singularity happens, please spare me. Uh, ooh, nothing great in this pack. Necrotic Wound, maybe. I'm not a huge Necrotic Wound fan. Uh, I don't think that's true. I've heard AI, I've heard AI doesn't like Demir. I've heard they don't like Boros. I've heard they don't like green cards. So that's literally every color. So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's actually no... Um, I'm pretty sure there's actually no evidence whatsoever that the, the AI does or doesn't like a certain thing. I think it's people's just biases just showing up very, very heavily. I'm probably going to take the Rhizome Lurcher. I think it's the best card in this pack. I'm not a big Necrotic Wound fan, even in the, the Golgari decks, because, like, if I have two or three creatures in the graveyard, I'd much rather have a 4-4 four, four, or a 5-5 five, five, than a Neg-2, two, Neg-2, two, or Neg-3, three, Neg-3, three, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's Necrotic Wound. I'll just take the Wound because it's on color. Like, we don't have to splash it. Whatever. Uh, this pack's pretty boring, so I'm pretty okay with just taking Notion Rain here. Oh, Thought Erasure. Uh, Command the Storm as well. This pack's pretty decent. <sighs> so I think it's Thought Erasure or Hired Poisoner or Command the Storm. It's probably Erasure, especially with the Spy Bug. These picks have been pretty good. I like having Passwall add-ups in the deck. Um, I could take an Izzet Guildgate if we go on a splash, but I don't think we have any reason to right now. I think I'm just taking the Passwall Adept. Unexplained Disappearance is nice. Dowser is also fine. I've grown to like Dowser because four fives are just very, very sizable in this format. Uh, is Lantern really a top pick in this set? I'm pretty sure Lantern's pretty top pick in all, in all, in all sets, in all draft formats. Maybe? I don't know. Well, that's interesting. I guess we'll take the Generous Stray so we can go uh, Sultai like we're going to probably do anyway. So, Yep, there we go. See, look, it's all working out. Everybody's wins. Everybody's everybody's wins is what I just said. I don't know why. Raiders could be okay. It's probably just Wild Saratok if we're going to take a green card here. Hmm. I don't like Raiders. Raiders is always bad in, as far as I'm concerned. I like Lamp. I'll take the Wild well, Saratok. I don't want the 2-drop because the odds of us actually being able to play it on turn 2 are low. Um, Destroying an Artifact or Enchantment is pretty nice. 
Mephitic Vapors is also just fine. I'm going to take the Sprouting Renewal. And another Ceratox, sure. This is two Aurelias in one day. I'm just going to take the Aurelia for my for my collection, especially because there's nothing in this pack I'm really... Like, I'm not going to take a Demir Informant or any of these green cards over an Aurelia. And we have Chromatic Lantern, so maybe we just play the Aurelia. They liked that. They were like, whoa! You hear that noise? That was good. Uh, Kanav Concoct is pretty great. I'm going to probably be taking that. Hopefully Capture, Spear, Capture Sphere or uh, the Rampaging Monument come back. That'd be nice. Oh, Knight of Autumn? That's also probably worth taking, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's... I think it's... So here's the thing about... Um, <laughs> here's the thing about Arena. Like, you can't just trade for cards, and you can't just, like, get rid of extra cards. So, like, I kind of just want to take these cards that I'll definitely play with when I have a chance to do so, especially over a mildly, like... None of these are, are more impressive than just having a free rare because they're so hard to get. So I'll just take the Knight of Autumn. And uh, looks like a fifth, fourth pick. 13-5 is 18 cards. This is our 19th card, so fourth pick Night Veil Predator. Deal. See, this pack's not super impressive. We'll take the Guildgate, actually. Guildgate's great. Any rare wild card could be any rare. Right, but I don't want to have... Right, that's my point, though, because I don't want to have to waste a wild card on a rare. Like, if I need 40 rares, now I just need 40... Now I need 39 rares. You know what I mean? Like... Says pick in top right. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Look at that. Well, I'll be a biscuit. Well, I'll be. It's probably severed strands here. I like it better than Gateway Plaza. Especially if we can some some burgly rats. Um, if we're gonna splash green, I want the Guild Mage, and the Guild Mage is very very far ahead of both of these guys. We might actually be splashing blue. You know, I don't know. We might just be full on Sultai. Selective Snare or... Nose Strips, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hey, guys, do you know anywhere on the in the client where it tells me what pick I'm on? Do you guys have any... Do you know where it would tell me that? I wish I knew. I wish there was some part of this client that actually told me what pick I was on. That'd be super convenient, I think. Chris, you know what, buddy? I, w I almost did that. I was like, oh, let me see what Alt F4 does. Why would you do this? Why you do that? I'm going to take... Actually, Generous Stray seems better. I'll actually play Generous Stray 100%. And I might not pick... Uh... I also think Might is solid, but I think being able to bounce like two guys with this is fine. It it's actually good. I'm just tempted to take Utopia. I, mean, I don't think Passwall and Unexplained are worth splashing for. Demir Skybug and Thought Erasure might be. Notion Rain is. Can I have Concoct is. Knife Hill Predator is, which makes me want to be heavier blue. I don't think we need another Ceratoc. It's not Vigor Spine Word. It might just be Maximize Alts, dude. Do you not like Securitas Route? I never. That's because, yeah, I don't think it's that great. Um, I don't think this is. I, I liked it at first a lot, and I think I, I might still play it if I had it. But this isn't a format where I really want to take off on turn four just to find two lands. Because your payoff's not that great. There's not a ton of, like, seven or eight drops that you really want to have uh yeah two hybrid hybrid three blue black yeah that's really uh that's weirdly parsed uh probably just gonna take maximize altitude okay another ceratoc do we need a three drop here not really but it's probably better than a four a third ceratoc so that is a late legion guild mage i'll just take it now i'll take the vine Oh, another Vapors. Uh, did we get a first Vapors? No. Oh, a first Vapors. Oh. Oh, Explosion, Expansion. All right. It's not terrible, but probably just taking Deadweight here. It's probably better than Gorgon and Demir Guildgate. And I think it's better than Prey Upon in the deck like this. We just don't have that many creatures that we really want to throw away. I will take a Deadweight. Plus, no matter what color we end up being. Wow, find Finality. And a Find Broker and an Indric. Holy smokes. It's got to be fine finality here. But hopefully either one of these comes back and we can just live the dream. Because that's that's gross. Probably just taking Gateway Plaza here. 
And maybe if the guild gate tables, I'm okay with it. Mission briefing, huh? I would 100% play a lurcher over a Ceratok here. Yeah, that pack was gas. I'm not going to take mission briefing or any of these guys, so I'll just take a rise on lurcher, which I will definitely play. Um, actually, this is a this is kind of a good glaive deck because we're going to end up with multiple guild gates. I don't care about siege worm really. Yeah, I think this is probably the best card in the pack for us anyway. Um, two two. Ah, thoughtbound phantasm actually great. We have a lot of surveil surveilling. Oh, plague crafter. That's a f f pretty nice pickup. Better than a Wario Cappy for sure. Oh, Demir Guildgate. All right. Another generous trade. This is the, so this is, this is our first pack. Yeah. So we have Undersea Necrolisk. I wish it said the the costs here. Like a lot of times when you're playing Arena and other games like Hearthstone or you know Elder Scrolls Legends or something, it, it'll actually tell you your your cost breakdown. So I want to be like, how many three drops do I have? How many four drops do I have? So I have one, two, three, four, four things to do on turn three. Not many four drops though. Actually, one, two. This is more like a five drop. I think I just want the Necrolisk. Actually, Prey Upon's good too though. And the other view. God, it's always about changing the views. Okay, that's better. I don't think we need a third generous stray. It's. I also don't think our creatures are big enough for a Prey Upon. I probably just want the Necrolisk. I think that's fine. Wow, did nothing come back from that pack? That's pretty sad. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Jeez. Wow, not even like the uh not even like the guild gates. Uh Urban Utopia might have but I mean we we do have a chromatic lantern, which is nice. All right, so 41 cards, and this is with, what, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So yeah, I need one cut. That's pretty good. Hmm. Um, I, hmm, I like, I'll take a maximize altitude. Yeah, I think this is actually very good. I think our deck looks pretty sweet. So this is, what, four, five, six, six blue sources and a chromatic lantern. Is this with Utopia? No. Okay, good. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four, five, six. I'm actually going to go eight here. Add another one of these, another one of these. So this is four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is seven, seven, eight, which is pretty good. All right, let's see what happens. Hey, long time watch, first time poster. Question for you. There's a Magianos 20 minutes from the Anaheim Convention Center. Chris, if we don't go to Magianos at BlizzCon, I will be so disappointed. I will 100%. Can we please do that? That sounds like such gas. Oh my god. Family style at BlizzCon. Let's do it. That is the cool. That is the best thing I've ever heard. Um... Yeah, this hand's actually very keepable. We need one green. None of our none of our cards either uh, are double green or double 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 anything. I guess. I love lamp. Wow, how fitting, how fitting. Uh, Nightfall Predator is definitely the most busted card in limited, I believe. It'll be some gas, all right. Wow, that's messed up. I got some taco, uh, oh, is it my turn? I never even know. I got some, uh, chipotles in, uh, uh... 
Oh, look, a green. How nice. Generous Stray is like Notion Rain, except instead of drawing two cards, you get a 1 2 out of it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It is uh, not bad. I kind of want to kill that, but we don't have anything else to really do, unfortunately. Yeah, it's fine. It can it can stay. Oh, that's a good draw. No attack. I can't really imagine that. Uh... Is there any specific reason you chose Karn as your avatar? Just because I like Karn as a character. It's a lot of goblin electromancers. If more like Eflectomancers, am I right? No, that doesn't make any sense. This cat noise is great. Ooh, uh, it's like E.T. I think I'm pretty sure the cat is based on E.T. Well, that's interesting. Should I just bounce this guy? I feel like we can bounce this guy, play Glaive. And this like puts them back a whole turn as well, so I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I don't really need that. Elliot. <laughs> uh. Chris, I like that you proposed the Magianus thing and then I was like super hyped about it and then you never actually confirmed that we could do that. Now you have so many delicious lizards. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that a cat? Oh, because of the cat? Because he's got the lizards here? Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm a fan of what you just said. Do, do, do. Oh, I want the second guild gate, but I also really want this. So we're going to put you here. We'll put you in the trash can. I'll draw whatever's next, which is also a third guild gate. Yeah, there's no reason to put on a cat because we're just getting in there for two this turn. Hardest part of being an ice cream truck driver is when a kid I asked you, do you remember what they're usually, do you remember what I usually get? Mm, no, I see about 600,000 kids a day. Do, do, do. He's really thinking about this one. Oops, I paused it. Wow, that's a fantastic, uh, that is nice. Oh, a Demir Locket. Well, you're dead. You're just dead. Stop being... Stop being this way. I kind of just want to kill this guy because he's a pain. Sorry, little cat. What do we got in here? We can get two dudes back there, right? We can get uh, Generous Stray and something else back at some point. Okay, sounds good. Kitty cat, no! Well, that's pretty good. Keep the land. 
Wow, that was pretty good. Does it get exiled? What does the card go? Exile it. Woo! Thank you. Biovisionary with the gifted sub, really appreciate it. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I guess we could just put it on here. It's basically the same thing. Long time subscriber, first time commenter. I had to cancel my subscription because my girlfriend found out about us and was super pissed. I want to come meet my family and get tattoos of each other's names on our neck. Do I have to get some elf asshole on my neck or do I have to get Kyle on my neck? What's the uh, what's the protocol there? Scarfinan, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Here's to six months and many more. What are you going to do here? You're going to you bounce this guy? What? They're killing all of my creatures. I'm not I'm not a fan. <laughs> whatever you whatever you want, boo. All right. Put this guy on here. Oh, what up, Quacker? It's your boy, Cosme. Will you ever stream a, a seal, stream a sealed PTQ? Probably not. I hate streamed is like my sealed is like my least favorite format, and I have no desire to play a PTQ whatsoever because I just don't care about qualifying. So, I mean, like that's like just a two for. Can you turn on your dryer and get Hunter worked up? Probably not. Probably not. But I appreciate your uh, your interest in that. Okay, well, this is nice. Considering they have disinformation, I can't. I'm actually surprised at how this this game is kind of falling apart. I guess we've only drawn generous strays and like literally nothing else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of our lands we've seen. I guess we'll end the turn. If someone tattooed your face on their body, where would you prefer they tattoo it? On their face? Uh, that feels fair to me. The little devious cover up. No, oh, Sinister's sabotage. I am very upset with Cosme because he bailed on our party and this is the second time he's done this. I'd appreciate if you shunned him from the rest of the stream. Shunned who? Oh, that's a good dude. Let's drop this guy and hope you don't have Disdainful Stroke in hand. Or any counter spell whatsoever, I guess. I don't like the aura that comes off because it feels like you're looking at this card. Like, it almost feels like it's highlighted. You know what I'm saying? What creature type is best of all time? Oh, that's a good question. Wow, must be nice. Oh, uh, oh, uh, is that what the aura is? Maybe that is. You no, know, because look, I have it right here. It's for it's whoever has priority. It has nothing to do with the card they're looking at. <sighs> oh, 
This game was this game started out very well. And then it all went downhill. It's actually very hard to tell what's tapped and what's not. I guess they have four mana up, five mana up now. Oh, look at that guy. How about this guy? He's just gonna counter every single creature. Where's Thick Mike today? He's at his job. He's uh, he's the same place he is every day. I just hit F6. I was like, oh, six. I'll pass. They have three cards in hand. It's pretty good. They can't all be answers, right? Guess they can be. What well, was my mistake? <laughs> my bad. I was just I was under the impression that they couldn't be. That was foolish of me. I will go to 18. 21 to 15. Name all the Lurgoifs in Magic. Tarmogoyf, Lurgoyf. Done. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, see, this is why I didn't want them to exile my guy. Because that makes me sad. I'm tempted to just take theirs. They have two cards in hand, huh? I'm pretty sure those are all beasts, not Lurgoifs. Oh, they are. Oh, wow. Lurgoifs. Interesting. I thought Cognivore and Magnivore were all beasts. Um. Okay, we'll do this. Surveil. I just want to gain control of this guy, I guess. I don't want to bring any of my guys back because then they still get to keep a dude, so. Yeah, we're at... We're at 18. I'm not really worried about boosting Phantasm. I'd rather just have... This gets rid of two creatures. It gives us one and it takes one of theirs. Whereas any other creature just gives us one. And then they still have two guys to block it. So they have five mana. They're probably going to... No, they can't crack this because they kept an island up. Which is nice. They can Chemister's Insight. There's always the guy that's like, all oh, the changelings. Why do you have to be why do you have to be that guy, Backlight? Come on. Ah, <sighs> sure. Just exhausting. Oh, how nice. How about Notion Rain into Surveil Card into Surveil Card, and then we can just attack with this guy and kill you on the spot. Island is actually, that's perfect. That's a great draw, actually. That's really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are five lands left in our deck. Always that guy. I will name. Oh my god, really? Jesus. Come on, dude. Why do you even have red for Arclight Phoenix and two Electromancers? That seems weird. But of course I'm going to say that because I'm I'm losing, right? I don't know. All I've seen is Electromancer, Electromancer, and Arclight Phoenix. Yep, this is why we play our land. I don't think there's anything we can draw that actually does anything here. Like, they just literally happen to make us discard our uh, find finality. Yeah, cool. 
Sweet Shuffler. Not sure if you're right up, but what are you? Who's your favorite Green Lantern? Uh, Hal Jordan. It has always been Hal Jordan. I don't think we care about Prey Upon. Like, our sideboard's not great. I don't think we actually need anything. I think we just drew up an abundance of lands there, unfortunately. And they just had very good hits with their, like, discard this card, get rid of that card. <sighs> Seeing you play online has made me value Scry and Surveil a ton more, and I have one more IRL because of that. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Um, I will keep this hand. You have supple rewards. I mean, if you you're welcome to check, there is a link provided to you. If you were a lantern, which I would like to think I'd be green, I can't. I don't. I don't associate with any other colors. As uh, nothing, nothing jumps out to me. I guess is what I'm saying. Um, this guy. Well, I don't have a three drop, so I guess this is a good, as good a time as any to play this bad boy. Five new post notifications. But I can't see any new posts. Am I on the right tier? I have. I. I would. I'd have no idea. That is a good question that I do not know the answer to, unfortunately. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, spell. Really? <laughs> My God. You got it. Yeah, this guy's probably this guy's probably fine here. It also makes our necrotic wound better, for obvious reasons. Would necrotic wound be too powerful if it were negative one plus x, negative one plus x? Um, I mean, it'd be significantly better by a sizable margin because then you just have a card that kills. Uh, I don't think it would actually be that much better. It's, it would be more on par with like tragic slip if that was the case, right? Negative one, negative one, and then if a morbid creature dies, it's significantly more. Or if a you know morbid if a creature dies, it's significantly more. So I don't know, maybe. I don't think it'd be too powerful by any means. Hmm. Well then. Do we just play 3-3 three, three here? Probably. gonna keep the forest in our hand because what is your opinion of cryptic command it is one of the best counter spells and best cards in magic the gathering it is one of my favorite cards i 
You guys didn't like the noise. Here, Josh, you didn't. Or, uh, OMG's already didn't like the, the noise of that goblin. Well, it's coming. He's coming back. Uh, yep, you got it. Does he have two cards in hand? Okay. Sure. When the Chronic Wound be too powerful if it said Undergrowth, X target players lose the game where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard? I think so. I'm gonna say yes. If they kill this guy, I mean, I like the idea of getting... Oh, we know we actually know one of their cards, right? It's a, They got a Goblin in hand. Oh, no, we killed it with the Plague Crafter. Well, then... Going to combat. I bet you're going to counter this because that's what you like to do. Oh, you didn't want to counter this? Well, I'll be. Island can go in the graveyard. Saratok can go in the graveyard. That seems fine, especially... Wait, oh, the Lurcher they got rid of with the thing. So I guess we're glad we put that in there. Yeah, that's fine. Because next time we're going to be... Uh... If a card isn't revealed in Arena, you don't know what it is. What does that mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. They, we would know that they had the thing. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. But, you know. That's just like your opinion, man. Chris, are we going to... Are we going to Magianos at BlizzCon this week? Yep, this is literally how I kept the forest in hand. I'm pretty sure we can convince Mike. We should... Chris, can you mention it in the chat for me? For us, I guess? Oh, this is so infuriating. Never happened is not good, but you're doing very well with it. Yep. Two cards exiled, both of which would have been uh, good in my graveyard this game. Uh, wow, another chemistry insight. I guess we'll just take the command of the storm. Can't be salting, nothing happened. Well, you, you, may, you mean never happened, right? How is Draft on Arena? I've had no problems with it whatsoever. See, this is why I don't like Necrotic Wound, because, like, it's negative one right now, which is not great. So you just take another six and go to six? Uh, usually cards like that are in order. Like, it'll say give negative, to negative 2, negative 4, and then tap a creature. So, it, the first target you make is going to be the first one on the card, I would assume. That was incredible. Did you see that art? Uh, wary of how so? How do you mean? Okay. That was fascinating. Yeah, 
Ew. Can they, so they can counter this if they want to. Can I just give these guys menace? Four, five, six, seven. Have you ever had gumbo? No, no, because I don't like uh, a lot of the ingredients in gumbo. So we can deadly visit this, which seems safe. However, if they have a counter spell, that's significantly worse than just going like, make our guys big. Here we go, they're thinking. <laughs> of course, never, <laughs> never don't have it. Yikes, yikes. Discarding. Oh, so this kills this guy now, which is nice. Celery, onion, and bell peppers are delicious when they're in when they're in foods, Matthew. Or your tastes are very strange. Like, I don't like sausage and I don't like seafood, so... Gumbo seems like a pretty rough choice for me. Oh, I see. Well, that's pretty good. Peace out. <laughs> Not everyone likes the same things. That seems correct. I kind of like sprouting renewal here, but... I'm going to take out the lantern and bring in a sprouting renewal. I don't think we're having mana issues here. I'd rather have a more proactive card than a card like uh, lantern that doesn't really doesn't actually do much. Mike B loves the sausage. Got him. Wow, you did get him. I mean, interestingly enough, I like the taste of sausage. I just don't eat pork products. I'm going to keep this hand... I think yes they're on the play yeah this should be fine lantern does attract my opponent that's a good point that is a solid reference Oh, this is my little goblin electromancer. He's uh, my best friend. Uh... People don't like the things I do are wrong and borderline bad people. Yikes. We still playing lamp? What is it? Yeah, well, I mean, this is this match has gone on for a while. What day of the week is best for hunger hours? Wednesday because it's wacky Wednesday. In response, I'll play my own unexplained disappearing. God, I really want this dead weight, but I really don't as well. I kind of have to put this in the graveyard, which makes me feel terrible. 
I really need a creature here. However, if we draw any blue or black, we can connive and steal their gentlemen. But I'm sure they'll counter it. Oh my god, every time, dude. Did you see the finals of the Grand Prix was mono red versus... You already asked me that. You literally asked me that already. <laughs> or someone else... It had to be you, man. 100% was you, right? Did you <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's no bueno. What did they take? <laughs> of course they did. There's no way they block, right? Yeah, we're just gonna pass here. Hope we hit a land. Did you see the final first spot first? Oh man, that wasn't Matt? Really? God! How do you know? How do you know? Somebody go back, go back to the videotape. When 200 FM with a solid Demir did quasi duplicate times two on Doom Whisper Jesus. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. Do I counter this, or do I just let them take a card? What do you think of the Torbjorn rework in Overwatch? Uh, I don't play enough Overwatch to comment on that, unfortunately. That's good. So I basically got that card. I basically traded a Thought Erasure for a Sinister Sabotage. Elk Tears. Matthew. Buddy, listen. Listen. How many creatures are in our deck? I feel like there's not enough creatures in this deck, and I'm really wondering if I grossly underestimated the number of creatures we have in our deck. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Oh, uh, it's, it's a weird combination of hate and love right now. Hate and love. Oh, we're doing it. We're living this dream, buddy. Was this a 2 2? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. You see the. F <laughs> you know, I didn't. I I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't see it. It's, uh, it's my bad. I should have known. We can set up our deck. Um, how many... Do we have two green? Oh, we do. So we can play both of these next turn? Yeah, let's keep them like this. Kitty cat into guild mage. This, this child of mine is going all the way. Matthew, I think if it's not about anyone's particular mama, then you can probably say it. But that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm maybe I'm erring on the side of not caution, the opposite of caution. Uh, Child of Nice is going the distance. Yeah, that's that's it. No, I like Child of Nice better. Let's go with that. I'm not supposed to talk to you, Quacker, but that's that's okay. Heard there were some decks in the finals. I forgot what they were though. Neon Tokyo Rain. Wait, why does it say Neon Tokyo, not Neon Tokyo Rain? That's interesting. Did you change your name? Did you take the rain out of Neon Tokyo Rain?
I mean, this is so much. This is this is so much different. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. I did. I instinctually read Neon Tokyo Rain, and then I was like, "Wait, wait, something's happened. There's been a disturbance in the force." Why are you keep? Why are you can bounce my two two? Sure. Joke's on you. It's a two one dummy. Chocolate rain. Some stick. Do we just find find out? Oh, we're not gonna hit a land though. That's really sad. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. We can actually steal this guy, and if we hit a land, we're not gonna hit a land though. We know the next card. Dang it! They have one card in hand. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? can't actually steal it anyway that's unfortunate you missed a donation did you see mono red versus mono blue donated one dollar did you see the finals of the <laughs> why am i friends with any of you people that's the question i'm asking myself either way did you see mono red versus mono blue? Thank you for the donation. Really appreciate it. I'm going to assume it was Elk Tears, but that's okay. Because that's just the kind of that's just the kind of guy he is. Wow, that was a good one. That's a good card. Four, five, six, seven. We take nine here. That's good. That's a good amount. Uh, Arena lets you pick which mana to tap if you turn that feature on. If you do not, then it does not. Uh, I'm really tempted to just attack here and then play Find Finality. Like, we don't get anything back, but we have a decent hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, we just have to hope they don't have a... If they counter this, it's pretty bad. Sure, take the action. Boop! Oh, that's sad. I mean, it's a three for two. And we still have conoct, con Concoct Connive, so we can get something back if we want to. This is also a 4-4 now. We can play both of these next turn, so. What did they do? No, they cracked the Demir Locket. Sure. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm going to play this. I don't think they're going to have Disinformation Campaign, but maybe they will. But if they don't, we get to play this for five and then also uh, activate this and gain two life. So, I think I'm going to start pick up a snack. Which should I go with? I usually lean towards Chewy Chips or Oreos. Give me some ideas. Matthew, wherever you're going, you should go to the deli of that place, like if it's a supermarket, and just get cookies from there because those are going to be infinitely better than Chips Ahoy. That is my suggestion. Hmm, I see. So this is this is probably pretty bad for us. I imagine they sonic assault here.
not the deli, the bakery. You know, the which is which is usually about the same place. Uh, tap a creature. I assume you're tapping this guy. Seems good. Uh, graveyard, graveyard, and graveyard. Let's get a bigger lurcher back. So now they can just go four, five, six, put us to three. Hmm. Well, that's not great. So, Arena, are you grinding like the rest of us, or have you put some? I have put no money into Arena, nor do I foresee myself putting any money into it. Sure. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So, four, five, six. I don't really foresee us notion raining here. The school books say it hasn't come again. Notion rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Notion rain. I lean away from the mic to breathe. Uh, I guess we'll end here. Like I basically have to hit something because we have. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yep, resolve. Resolve it, I said. Some draw cards while others feel the pain. Notion rain. I actually feel like we're in good shape. I didn't think we were last time, but now I do. So they only have four cards. If they drew like a counter spell, we would just win the game. I don't foresee myself blocking this guy. Jeez. Oh, That's pretty good. Six, seven, eight, huh? This is actually fine because we have two blockers and we can gain two life here, so I don't think we're dead. You got it. So you're four mana up. Seems good. So you have two cards. Okay. Let's see if they're any good. <sighs> Boy. The sizzle. Resolve. So they're all tapped out. So I don't think they can attack here. And they have to block. So that's actually very good shape for us. I'm okay with it. They attack, we block. Seems good. Nailed it. Never didn't have it. Got him. I got really excited there. Did you guys experience that? Were you guys were you guys there to experience that with me? That extreme excitement? Claim my prize. What do we got here? Let's look at our deck. Can we change our deck in between? Oh yeah, we can. Nice. 
Okay, how many creatures do we have? 12 creatures. Ooh, that is a bit on the low side. Okay. Let's fix that. I'm going to take out the lantern. I don't think this is a lantern deck. This is, however, a wild okapi deck. I just want to have another 3 drop. And I'd also like to play another Ceratok if I could. Um, I'm going to take Phantasm out for Ceratok. I think blue is our splash, and also it's just not super impressive for us. So, this is still only 13 dudes, but it's probably better. Um, sand is fascinating. It's not terrible. We have lots of things we can play, barring that we, you know, if we given that we draw lands, I'll keep it. What the hell? Oh, what the heck? You know, Robert Pooner. Is that a real? Is that a real person? Is that a real human being? I don't understand what's happening right now. Is that a joke? Okay. Well, there's a lot of green sources for a Night Vale Predator. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would love to not have, uh... Okay, I accept. So we need three very specific lands to cast this. But, like, the problem... Or the, the thing about the thing about Nevail Predator is that if you draw those three specific lands and if you cast this guy on turn six, on turn seven, it's still very strong. It's proportional... It's not proportional to the, to the turn you cast it. It's always very strong. Large Brandon with it. Oh, another forest. That's actually really good. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm literally just doing this so I can actually uh, get some damage in and. Oh, man. I don't have to worry about. Look at this Naya deck. All right, well, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing. This is fine if you want to. This is fine. This is just fine. These are quite good against uh, Plague Crafter. That's even better. Oh, that was a good hit. I'm tempted to just steal this guy now. It's not great, but it does. It gives us something to do. I guess we could also unexplain it and then attack. Yeah, let's do that. That's probably better. It's basically a removal spell. Uh, oh, we could have actually attacked first. That might have been better. I'm going to put this dude in the graveyard. I don't care about that. I mean, they're probably not going to block this really the thing. Oh, it's your bodyguard, boy. Can I get one swamp off the top? Because then we're three quarters of the way casting this guy. Just one? Just one, dude? A bold strategy, Cotton. Uh, Plague Crafter just means you sacrifice this guy. I can actually steal this guy. Attack. <laughs> it doesn't seem great. We can get the Okapi back. We can also just find something better if there is something better. I think if they want to block here, I think that's fine. Because they can't block with this guy alone, so... 
This also lets us set up our draws. Yikes. Yikes. Trash can. Trash can. Keep you on top, and we'll get, just get back where you Cappy. Ew! Did you hear that guy? Did you hear that little cutie? Yep, that's something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't care about you, or you. Get rid of you. Oh, uh, necrotic wound. How many we got in here? Two? One, two, probably gonna trade. Yeah, we can keep that on top. Uh, no attackers. And now we're gonna hope that we don't, because the next if we can block here, kill this guy. I guess we could also just block, well, I guess we don't get to do anything, because you top take Illumina spawns. Seems good. 8, 9, 10, 11. That's nice. That is very good. Very good for you. You're doing quite well for yourself. Their hand is like really packed. <sighs> yep. Well, gotta block you. So that's what I'll do. One, two, three, so we can only do one thing this turn. Yeah, this is... I also don't like the amount of forests we have in the deck. We just don't need that many forests. Get ready for game two. It sounds like it feels like a fighting game. <laughs> game two, four, five. I'm gonna cut one of you and add another swamp. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine though. Actually, I don't think we. I think we just. I think that was just actually a fluke because we have actually more islands and the same amount of swamps as forests. So it doesn't. Selective snare seems good. So does mephitic vapors against this deck. We already have find finality as well. Plague crafter seems bad. We'll bring in vapors. Let's bring in Snare and go to 41, because YOLO. Next time on Magic Arena. That's a little Dragon Ball Z meme there. Um, we need a blue source, but this hand's actually pretty good. I like memes. Memes are pretty spicy. If we can draw blue blue, we get to play Night Veil Predator on turn four if we draw Night Veil Predator as well. 
Oh, blue next turn would be great because then we can play this into this. And that's okay. Goku, the ultimate never didn't have it. Oh my god, that's true. That's awkwardly true. Make a 2-2. Two -two. All right. Got him. No block there? That was interesting. Huh. Okay. Oh, another four drop. Fantastic. Now you got a block, right? Because it's weird that you didn't block last turn. Sounds good. Still no blocking, huh? Guess we'll end the turn. Here comes a Loxodon Restorer. Get in there for two and then tap everything. Rose main center. And also good. Oh, yes, that's what we wanted with no blue mana. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. I. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guess we'll just. I guess we'll just pass. Having a good time. This is a centaur soldier, this is an elf knight, so... Pretty sure we're dead here, but... What can you do? Maybe we can just run Saratok into Saratok. Maybe they don't have infinite removal for my Saratok. Maybe they don't have tricks. That's fine, I accept that. Just that guy, huh? Okay. Seriously, why not? I don't understand. I agree with you, though. I, I mean, I don't agree with you that every time you watch, I get land shorter. I do, I do agree that I get land shorter, and uh, it is not ideal. Okay, we're getting some cards here. None of these creatures are the same. We got Centaur, Soldier, Beast, Boar, Elephant, Cleric, Elf Knight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different types on the board. Not a shared one among them. Oh, God, one more land for this, and it's just lights out. It'd be such gas if we can hit one more land for fine finality. Block, block. We take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is this is fine. I have a feeling you might not attack here. Oh my god. Just one land. Any untapped land off the top. It's gonna be a gateway plaza. I've already accepted that. This guy dies anyway next turn, so if we <laughs> you son of a biscuit. Wow. Elf, elf, elf. Alright, so we can actually do that three times. Uh, let's name Elf. Done. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna actually... Three. Alright, so hopefully we'll just drop both of those creatures again. I forgot what time I started watching. Yikes. I have no idea how you would find that. If it was Magic Online, there is definitely a clock.
Play one more thing. No? Okay. Got him! How about Mephitic Vapor is off the top now? Or Demir Spybrack into Unexplained is still just fine. Nice, they have one card. Yeah, let's do this. You. I'm just going to play Passwall here because next turn we can just kill them. Uh, maybe. Oh, come on! I didn't get there. I wanted to respond to that. Oh, come on. That would have been so good. I guess it doesn't matter. These are lethal. I mean, they're going to attack with one of these guys. Both, probably. Uh, what is this? Sure. It's real good. <sighs> I don't know how this is real. I would have responded to that by unexplaining one of these guys, bouncing them to their hand, and then this would have traded. Now it's a completely different game. Oh, I did. I didn't have blue mana. You're right. Never mind. Now, now I feel less bad about it. Eh, that's a good point, I guess. I guess that's a fine point. This is where everyone tells me I had no blue mana. I have no cards in hand. I guess this is fine. We can also bounce our Ceratok just to scry. Which I think is fine. Now I just want to separate strands. That is a weird noise. I am not sure if that's a, a vegetable, animal, or mineral. Unlike one of the two finals of the GP, which happened to be mono blue versus mono red. Oh, the gas. Uh, what? No. Block. Here. Damage. We can also bounce this and just... Yeah, let's do that. Because we also get to surveil, which is super nice. Yep, you're going right in the trash can. Didn't want to draw that. Faux show! I'm okay with drawing that, but right now I'm probably just going to kill this guy. Play Saratok, and then next turn we can play Nightfell Predator. I guess we could have done both, right? We had blue, blue, black, black, and we... I didn't see this guild gate, so that's my bad. Oh, wow. One, two, one, two, three. Not going to attack here, because then they just triple block, and it's not good value. I think you missed that you didn't have blue mana up at the time. Oh, my God. That's fine. Sure. Oh, uh, at 11, I actually feel okay with that. Oof. You can go in the garbage. Draw you. Oh, wow, Necrotic Wound is real good. Let's see what's in here first. Uh, I don't think there's anything to really care about. No. I just want to play this. Uh, 
Uh, they don't have any flyers, so I think we're just gonna get in there with this guy. You had as much blue mana as the guy who played mono red in the finals. Oh my god. I'm so proud of you guys. That's good. That's nice. Just this guy, huh? And your cat? Okay, well, I'll block this guy. That's not ideal. they can just not draw something good here, I'd appreciate it. That would be nice. Go to your attack step. Let's go blocks here. Block you. Block you. Because if they try to pump or something, I'm just going to necrotic wound. Damage. This is a lot of lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why didn't you eclip the it's right here. It's literally on the Night Veil Predator. Okay. Because even if they go to six, we have six in the air, so. And we keep losing game one and then just coming back game two, and I guess game three is going to be a nail biter. Mm, boy. Man, drafts that have seven rounds, uh, that could have potentially up to seven rounds, take a lot longer than drafts that only always have three rounds. That's no joke. This could. Because uh... at the very least, if you win all your rounds. It could be five. On the other creatures after combat, it, it has vigilance. Why would I equip it to something else when I can just block with the guy with vigilance? I'm not sure I understand the question. I'm gonna keep this because you don't have green, but we do have a vapors in hand and no creatures that really die to vapors. So we have a turn two drop and then a vapors, which is nice. Drew a third island. That's pretty weird. Does the states use winter and summertime or just only one? What are you saying right now? Uh, we have we have four seasons, if that's what you mean. Is that what you mean? I don't know. No, well, that is not a green... Oh, they just missed a land drop. Unfortunately, we're not in a position to take advantage of it. I wish we had a green source we could play Swarm Guild Mage. They missed two land drops, is that right? Oh, they're discarding. Oh, we just win the game, I guess. Well, I guess that's how, that's how you win faster, I guess. You just, uh, your opponent misses two land drops. Seems pretty good. Daylight Savings is pretty garbage, right? Does anyone in the chat support Daylight Savings? 1450? That's what seems like a good prize. So we have 800 gems, so we're already at 1600, which means we can draft again. And at the... Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. Did we add more creatures? We did, right? Yeah, we added the second Ceratok, and we took out some other nonsense. Okay. Ended up grabbing a decent sized bag of mini Reese's Cups. That's pretty good. Reese's Cups are probably my... They're, they're a top tier candy for me.
Only when we turn the clock back. Yeah, once we go forward, I'm like, dang it! This is like a bad investment I made earlier this year. Uh, this hand seems really good. Turn two guild gates. Stray and Notion Rain, etc., etc. Keep it. Uh, da, 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 my, uh, I'm gonna keep that hand. It might have been safer to start with a Golgari Guild Gate because we don't have another green source. So if we draw like a Swarm Mage that we want to play on turn two. It's likely just better to have Guildgate and then go Swamp. Because we already have an island if we want to play a 2-drop. Well, I'm going to get rid of Swamp here because... Well, reasons. Um, we can either play Adept here or we can just wait till next turn to play Stray. I think it's probably better to just get the Guildgate out here. I mean, hopefully they're they're missing land drops. <laughs> Dang it! So now we can stray here. Oh, two strays. Look, I I unburglar ratted myself, and now we have both of these to hit land drops, which is nice. So a little baddie boy. Oh, baddie boy. Uh, da, da. So we can notion rain, try to hit a swamp, put a creature in the graveyard, and then we can... Oh. Oh, well, that's... I really want that in hand. That's very good. You get to play an island. I guess that's not nothing. I'll just keep both. Uh, not gonna attack here, because it's, it's worth more to keep this guy back and prevent one than deal one. Especially if they have a stronger clock than we do. A rat, a bat, and a cat. That's actually hilarious. A two drop, three drop, four drop. One. All of these creature types rhyme. Uh, I do like Ferrochet and Toblerone. Both of those are solid, solid chocolates. Yikes, that's pretty bad. Wait, no, that's not gonna work at all. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it was asking me to use that mana? That's weird. Oh, that's a little weird, isn't it? I'm just gonna... Pass... No, don't attack! Oh, what are you doing? I didn't mean to do that at all! Ah, it actually doesn't matter. <laughs> we were gonna get rid of both of these guys so we can find finality, so I'm not super, uh... 
We actually, it's okay to do this on our turn because if they block, um, it lets us get Necrotic Wound out of our hand and we're going to have to discard down to seven anyway, so. Please stop drafting Demir and Arena. The sound effects are too spoop. Too spooky or spoopy? Yeah, we're probably not blocking. Actually, we want to Severed Strands, I think. Because Severed Strands... Find Finality is not going to... I meant Severed Strands, not Find Finality, so... Do you get mailed packages then, or would it be impounded? Um, I actually don't know. I'm not sure. It depends on if they search it. I get. Oh, fantastic. I guess I should have thought erasured. God, we're already at ten. Yikes. Wound that bat. <laughs> Done. Done. I feel like it's going to be significantly later when I get to eat. I'm probably going to have to put the crockpot on warm at some point, unfortunately. They're at 18 now, so they're basically dead. They actually, I don't think they can come back from this. Call. Spy bug into. If we had a way to get rid of this guy, then Plague Crafter is very, very good here, but I don't think we do. They have four cards in their hand. Oh my god, I'm so tired of these pets doing this. So we can go one, two, Spy bug, Thought Erasure. Their own Thought Erasure and a Dead Weight. Uh, I actually don't think we want Deadly Visit, which is super, f super weird. We actually don't. We have four lands. Yeah, that's going to go in the graveyard. So we have Dead White Swamp in hand. Pretty sure you kill Spybog Attack for four. This doesn't seem hard. There you go. I helped. If we had lands, like, this is actually a very good recovery, but it does not look like it. This gains us some life, but it's the only thing we can play this turn. I guess we're not dead. Hey, 
Thank you. Chugrin, 33 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. So we go to two, we can gain two if we hit land. All right, not a land. We tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Just gonna save our time here. Sit around and watch the tune. Nothing's on. Change the channel for an hour or two. <sighs> yeah, I mean, we can play both of these and this and this. I've eaten nearly half a bag. <laughs> oh, Mathiori. That's gas. See what you got here, champ. Oh, your own thought erasure that you keep holding. Alright, so they're going to play another Burglar Rat, and we can get rid of Plague Crafter. This feels like our first lost. I think I'm past the first half. Yikes. Main phase whisper agent. Fascinating. I have three cards in hand. I might have erred on the side of like making me discard. Um, do we have two blue? No, that's unfortunate. God, I still want both of these though. They're very, very good. I mean, if we have to get rid of something, it's probably Plague Crafter because I don't think it's getting around Burglar Rat very efficiently, so. Seems good. My bug. Not ideal. I'm almost tempted to just block. I wish it said what turn it was. Like, it doesn't say, like, turn five or anything. Like, every other game, you know what turn it is because you have a mana system.
I like the idea of making this guy a big big. But I also like just taking the dark blade agent. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> what do you do when you want all of these? Um, we have a Nightfell Predator, which we can't cast without this. dead. Look how many cards. Yeah, but that doesn't count because, like, we could have drawn cards. You know what I mean? So we're going to just draw. Sure, that's actually fine. Yeah, we're going to draw a guild gate, which is rough because I think we might be dead here. We're at five. We block here. We take four. We go to one. Not ideal. Why did they tap a blue instead of a swamp? That doesn't make any sense, but... If they have an answer for this, we're dead, but... alive. We can block here now. Well, we have to block there, so I guess that's doesn't really change the situation. That's sad. Because, you know, our next cards are fine finality. Oh, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hold up. Hold up. We're at one. How do we survive here? Go one, two, and then we have black, black. We can go find finality, get this guy. Oh, we're, we're basically dead, right? And we have to actually finality here. Then they play this guy and kill us. Uh, yeah, that's just too much. Sad days. Give me one second, I'm gonna go check on these tacos and put them on warm. Don't go anywhere. Actually, I can't do it yet. Because if I do the thing... Actually, it'll go on warm after it's done cooking anyway, so it should be fine. Because if I switch, it's going to turn the jazz on, and the jazz is going to meet the YouTube video, which is super awkward, so... Good thing I didn't do that. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand, <laughs> just because these are two very strong cards, and uh, we have the mana to cast both of them, so. Ideally, we'll hit things that uh, that we can play in the meantime. But even if we just play Night Vale on turn four, can I have Concoct on turn five? It's pretty good. That guy's also pretty good. No blocks. Uh, that's actually a fitting land. I mean, we've drawn three lands so far off the top of our deck, so... I'm not really thrilled about it, but... 
you know, if we're going to draw land, I guess that's one of the better ones. If you're not going to give me a spell to play with my three mana, I guess you can give me that. The problem with this is if they have Sure Strike, it's terrible. But we might just be able to take two more. Okay, well, that's not going to do what you think it does. So, one, two, three. If we draw something we can play, yep, now we'll just play that. Uh, I'm pretty sure on the no attackers plan. Unless they go barging sergeant here and then they put a counter on their crater maker. Can we have spoopy stiffs on Halloween? Like what? What do you got in mind? Just this guy, huh? I feel like I can reasonably take three. Oh, and this guy, huh? Okay. Wow, did we really just trade a spy bug for a crater 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 boy? Dang it, kitty cats. All right. Let's see if this guy can go the distance. They didn't play anything last turn? That's kind of weird, right? Alright, well that's good. I guess we'll see what we can hit here. Deadweight Notion Rain Forest. Forest can go... Keep those two on top. And we'll probably just get back Spy Bug. That wasn't ideal, but we know we're drawing Notion Rain. I think there was... I don't know what, what was underneath Notion Rain. I forgot, but it was probably decent. Dead weight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, keep both of those. Yeah, I feel like we're doing well. I don't know, just scary looking cards only. <laughs> oh, well then. I also like how the cards just go directly to the face. Like, I do like that. It's very, it's satisfying. Candy to snacking. What's my pack one pick ones? I think it depends on what the pool is. You know what I mean? Um... Uh, Reese's PCs, Reese's, any kind of Reese's is at the top of my list. That's a high pick for me. I'm not a huge caramel fan. I like it. I think it's good. But I'm not going to, like, first pick that as far as candies go. Oh, cancel. They're going to have to crack this right now and then find an answer for three tutus, all of which kill you. Mono black seems pretty difficult to do in terms of limited, but is this going to be our third win or our fourth win? 
I thought it was our fourth win. But maybe I'm wrong. Magic's hard, though, you know? Well, well I guess this is, I mean, it's also game one, so... I'm just curious in general. Get ready for game two. It's actually pretty funny it says that. We didn't see anything that Mephitic Vapors is great against in that matchup. Just gonna submit. Pack one has Reese's PCs, Swedish Fist, and Sour Patch Watermelons. What do I say? I tell you, I, Reese's PCs are like one of my top tier candies. The the concentration of peanut butter is and and that kind of peanut butter, top tier for me. I think Swedish Fish would be last, although I enjoy all three of those. Mm. Actually, since they're Sour Patch Watermelons, those might be lower than Swedish Fish for me. I think the watermelons get repetitive a lot easier than just regular Sour Patch Kids because there's uh, multiple flavors in the Sour Patch Kid bag, whereas the watermelons are just mono watermelons. So I think my pick order would be go Reese's Pieces, Swedish Fish. It, it's, it would be the order that you wrote them in. That would be my order for that. This hand is great. Um, as long as we can draw lands. Famous last words. I actually really like Twizzlers, but I don't understand why I like Twizzlers because they're kind of boring. It's like, it's licorice, so it's not super like, it's not a strong flavor. I think there's a lot to say about uh, Twizzlers from their, oh wow, this is just working out quite well. I think there's a lot to, st I think there's a lot to say about Twizzlers in regards to their texture. This is the most insightful candy cones I've ever heard in a while. E.T. approves. <laughs> oh, God. We have a good time. It's just the right amount of chewing and sugar. Yeah, I, I, that's probably what it is. It's probably like right in the middle of the road. We are definitely going to bounce this guy so that you can't attack with this guy, and then we're just going to play Night Vale. Actually, maybe we just re... Depends on what they do, I guess. I will happily sponsor one Mono Black Guilds draft on Halloween, please. Wow. Um... Yeah, we're going to take two here. It's. I think it's better. Like, they're just going to replay the other guy, right? I don't know. I don't know what's better. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll keep the gate, because next time we're going to play a guy, and then we can play... Oh, we can actually just play Connive, Concoct, and Steal this next time. Next turn. Which might be better if they replay Bodyguard. Actually, that seems pretty good. I should have bought Twizzler's Knife from Publix. Damn. Yeah, you messed up. You done messed up, eh, Aaron? Oh, and look at that little guy. Maybe I just steal that guy. I always seem to cook during your stream. I'm going to bake some pumpkin seeds now. Seems seems all right. If they didn't play their other guy, I'm just going to play this guy now. Because next turn we can steal this and attack. Don't buy candy. Eight. Wait till November first when it's all in clearance. That's yeah. That's the play. That is the play. Yeah, this is fun. This guy's really obnoxious, but, uh... I wish they didn't have two of them, because now they can attack, but... That's life, I guess. Actually, let's play Necrolisk, because then, like, next turn we can concoct, and, and we can just actually block this guy, which is fine. And if they attack with all three, then I can just block another guy. It's whatever. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Yeah, that's a fine trade. 
I'll take it. Double Boros Locket deck. Well, you've got my attention. Let's see if we can put something more exciting in the graveyard. Um, oof. oof. Uh, view battlefield. How many cards are in my graveyard? I think two. So that's a 4-4? Four, four? Yeah, I think that's better. And I'm definitely keeping both of these on top. Oh, it's a 5-5. Five, five. One, two. How is it a 5-5? Five, five? number of creature cards in your graveyard. I only have two creature cards, right? How is that a 5-5? Five five? What am I missing here? Oh, it counted itself when it came back? That's interesting. Huh. Well, butter my biscuits. Well, we knew this was there. <laughs> Love it. Um... Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Kitty Cat, if you don't knock this off, I am going to sell you to the... I don't know where I want to sell this cat. I'm probably just going to keep him. He's a gentleman. He's a fine gentleman. Pop, 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 pop. I'm tempted to just block here, and then we can find finality their whole board and keep our Night Vale Predator. That's a fair trade. We can also just get two creatures back as well. Yeah, this is just... This game's this game's gonna be over now. We could have attacked first, but you know, now we have a five. five. It's fine. It's fine either. Way. Also, if they block, we can't do that. So it's not. It's almost not worth the risk. Let's see what you got here. Sure strike and a righteous blow. We get rid of the sure strike. Yeah, this guy's better. All right, you're in the most top deck of modes. Five five flying at death touch hex proof. That's how you do it. Silver tier four, is that good? I don't know. I just work here. Pretty, 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 pretty good. It's pretty good. How did we not we did we did play around citywide bus, did we not? We had a four three. Doesn't that count? Say our best is destroy creatures toughness four or greater. Like we played a creature that like we had one creature that dies to it, one creature doesn't. Oh, a millstone. Oh baby. Oh, that was only three wins? Oh god, we have two more wins to go. I'm never eating dinner tonight, guys. I'm about to citywide bust. I feel like that Hank Hill, uh, that Hank Hill, that Hank Hill, uh, soundbite needs to be on the soundboard. I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. 
It's just funny. It's just a good meme. Just sustain yourself in sweet and sour memes. We can butter. We can bu bu butter free. It's less fun when we can't uh, when we can't get Chris with it, but I guess that's still good. I'm sure it'll still be fine. I'm okay, Dad. Uh, definitely keeping this hand. We have all of our colors and Night Vale Predator. I'm sorry, it's hilarious. It's Hank Hill, and he's like, "I'm about to bust." <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it. We're gonna have a good time. Oh, they mulliganed. Ooh, God, we can't lose. They mulligan on the play. They're they're dead. This game's over. Give me a swar a swarm guild mage into a stray. All right, that's not bad. I'll take it. That's a good card. I'm about to bust. I'm about to citywide bust. Play an X2. That's an X3, but uh, it's still fine. Oh, I guess we're playing that. I'm tempted to just deadweight this thing, because we're going to play... Um, we're gonna play Night Vale Predator next turn, and I want them to pump this guy enough to kill it. So now they're gonna have to play two spells to block Night Vale Predator, and we still have fine finality in hand, so. You know. I can FaceTime. We should totally FaceTime Chris while we're in while we're in California and just be like, Bubble Butterfree! I think she'd really like that. She would not like that at all. She'd probably like it. Do they attack with fresh face recruit? Do I totally get blown out? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Man, I also have to feed these pets. Unbelievable. Maybe that's why they're that's why they're hanging around. Really? Enhanced surveillance. Intriguing. Most intriguing. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you're working with. I kind of just got here, so I forget the question, but is this your draft deck or actual? This is <laughs> this is my draft deck. I would not have Child of Night and Severed Strands in my actual deck. Oh, Discovery, which I don't really care about. Ritual of Soot. Which I don't really care about either. Sonic Assault, which I don't want you to have. I guess it's probably Discovery Dispersal. We can play around Ritual, and our deck isn't even that bad against Ritual. Um, I'm going to get rid of this, because it doesn't do anything for us. But now we know they have nothing, really, so that's good. Plus, enhanced surveillance is significantly better with discovery dispersal, so. Yeah, so if they want a ritual of soot, they kill our child and their two creatures. No blockers. I imagine they just want to tap something just to make this guy a 1-1 one, one, and then we'll trade. Okay. Or not. I guess they're just going to get rid of it. That also seems fine to me. This card's pretty good against uh, Sonic Assault because they can't tap it. I don't know if you guys knew that. Is this game 2 or game 1? God, there's so many games that, like, they're, they're running together. Killing a child? I'm calling the... I'm calling Child Protective Services. 
This is game six? Oh god, it feels like it feels like game ninety two. Uh, let's go to your attack step. Let's end the combat. Let's go to... Uh, let's not go to my turn just yet. I don't want to bounce this guy because it kind of encourages them to play Ritual of Soot. However, if we both block here, it's totally fine. It's better for our Rhizome Lurcher, so... I'm okay with it. Three three is better than anything they have on board right now, so I'll just deal with it. Did you guys hear the flies when this guy came out? I actually it, it went from like left to right to left, and it was actually it kind of blew my mind a little bit. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. They're going to six? I feel right, but... I mean, they have one blue source, so Sonic Assault's not doing any of the main favors here. Yeah. I don't want them to scry. Uh, and if they want to replay their blue man, they have to do one or the other. They can only Sonic Assault or replay this guy, so. Um, I'll keep this on top because there's a free card next turn. This is draft still happening. I left the tab open while I went upstairs to cook a three-course meal and watch the entire first season of The Wire, and it's still going on. Have you eaten? How Has Howiebot checked in on you? I'm concerned. I have not eaten yet. I have not eaten yet. And that cat's real mad. He's like, bro, I need sustenance. It is my dinner time. I think the client's fine. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I, actually, maybe I'm I, I'm not that. I don't think I'm that. I don't think I'm that neutral on it, actually. I think it's good. I have no issue with it. Uh, the tacos are currently in the crock pot and they are warming. So ideally they won't be burned when I get there. I would probably be really sad if they were. No, Kurt, I actually have food cooking in the crock pot. Um, I will keep this again. Turn two into this guy, which we still have the mana to play the, uh, as long as we can play Night Vale Predator, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in business. Raindrop, drop top, tacos cooking in the crock pot. That's 100% what you're going to say. I'm waiting. Pro <laughs> Okay. We were close. We were close. I knew what was happening. We could also thought erasure here. But that puts us off, like, a turn. All right, well, that's whatever. How would I rate myself as a crockpot cook? Um, decent. I'm a fan of all the things I make in the crockpot. We'll take three here. I'm a big fan of that, because now we can go combat, attack with kitty cat. And they actually don't get the counter. They don't have enough mana for whispering, whispering boys. Those whispering boys are at it again. If you don't feed your cat, chat will revolt, so I'd suggest you look at it. Oh, please. Don't even... That... That cat is so well fed. 
That's a big boy. Raindrop, drop top, thinking about playing this Saratok. That's probably what's that's probably what's happening. Um I kinda wanna do this and then just play Swarm Guild Mage here. Uh they're not they're chicken tacos. These are chicken these are some chicken tacos. Did I play a land this turn? One, two, three. I believe I did. Okay. So four and two next turn. I really just want to see what you have because I feel like this is. Oh, wow. Beam Splitter, Sonic is. Yeah, uh, I don't want to get rid of this because then you'll just replay it. Erg. They don't have any red mana, though. Yeah, I'll just get rid of this guy. And you can go. Done. And Swarm Guild Mage. Alright, so I guess we're hoping you don't hit red mana ever. Yeah, playable cards are probably highlighted, so that was probably... Uh... No blocks. They have no nothing to do in their hand. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. That's really good. One, two, one, two, three. Hmm. I'm not going to attack with this guy. I don't want to go to nine here. We can just easily block and it makes our Lurcher better. If we hit land, we can just play Lurcher and equip Glaive, which is nice. Oof. That was a good pickup. Raindrop, drop top, tacos cooking in the crock pot. My son wants to know what you are going to be for Halloween. I'm going to be a Magic the Gathering streamer, probably. I have no. I don't think. I don't. I don't think I have any plans to dress up, especially because it's so close to. Um, like, I think the 31st is Wednesday, and I believe for BlizzCon on Thursday, so. Oh, Passwall Adept is a thing. Um, we can also steal this, and then we can't, we can't do both, I guess. I guess we can Passwall and equip. So this is going to be a 6. I really just want to get rid of this guy, you know what I mean? You guys know what I'm saying? I have to assume they kept a red on the top. Can I order you a funny hat for Halloween? I think so. I mean, yeah, we're trading a 4-3 for a 4-5, which I'm okay with. We know that both the cards in their hands, so I don't know what the holdup is here. An all green bodysuit would probably be extremely creepy. I would probably just, my face would just disappear. Like, what if it covers everything around my face? I don't know why they're timing out here because they have no plays. They might have died. Okay. Also, if we play this guy next turn and give everything Menace, eh, that's pretty good. Actually, maybe it's not. It's only six damage. There you go, red source. Yep, there it is. That's still not super exciting. Like, they only have a jump start and a Beam Splitter Mage in hand, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I guess we'll go to combat. Um, we're gonna play a four drop here, so I'm actually gonna gain two. So it cancels out. Resolves. Let's attack with everybody. So 3-3 three, three versus 4-3. Four, three. Probably gonna play the 4-3. And they can play they can play Ritual of Soot here and kill everything, but then we just have a 4-3 on board. So they can go black black ritual and then play beam splitter. And then it's 4-3 versus beam splitter. But also, like, we also got cards off of these guys, so it literally it'd be Adept Guild Mage versus Demir Infor Informant and Ritual of Soot. So it's a two for two in total. So you have one random card, a Sonic Assault, that you will likely play on this gentleman. Do they gain life? I feel like they were not at 14. Capture Spear. Okay, let's resolve that. Sure. So we're probably just going to play Lurcher. You have one mana up and you have these two cards. Okay. And then EOT maybe bounce. The, actually, maybe bounce this guy and then replay it this turn. That actually seems better. I don't know why they keep roping here like there's no real decisions to make um I think Plague Crafter is fine to keep on top it lets us equip Glaive and play next turn so it gives us things to do I don't want to equip Glaive because I don't know what they have. Like, if they if they tap out, I'll 100% equip Glaive because then I'm in control of the situation. Uh, that's interesting. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So we can actually use this ability, make everything five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then everything has to, they can only block one thing. So they'll double block here with these two probably. And they'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Actually, we're just going to steal the... <laughs> yeah, that seems better. I'm a big fan of that. That'll do, yep. Stealing Thief of Sanity is a pretty big game. Alright, I think we have one more round. Two if we... We have two total. Wow, this has been a, this has been a hell of a stream. Hopefully you guys are okay with it. Kitty cat's getting mad. I really did steal the thief. All right, see if we can do it. See if we can see if we can get five wins on our very second draft as well as our first. I'm going to keep this hand. This looks like a perfect Golgari hand. Um, we are very far away from casting Night Vale Predator, but we don't have Night Vale Predator. Does that blue guy do what you think it does? What does that mean? 
What are you saying right now? Oh, they mulliganed? They're dead. They're dead. They can't win. Alright, that's a good draw. I don't foresee us playing that anytime soon, though. We have two drop, three drop, four drop. Maybe on turn three, actually, depending on what they do. But I'm definitely going to run Child of Night out here. How do you rate the competition on Reverse MGO? Um, I haven't done enough arena to really tell. I haven't seen many glaring misplays. I haven't been like, wow, this is just the worst competition ever. So I think it's fine. Oh, I see. Look at that. Getting a little value out of that. Yeah, the blue guy makes things unblockable. But it's also three mana. So that wasn't really going to do anything there. No, I wasn't talking about the blue guy. I was talking about the Swarm Guild Mage. The Swarm Guild Mage gives plus one, plus zero oh in Menace. That's what I was referring to. Not the pass wall added. Two uh, different cards. Um, we're just gonna stray here because reasons. What's up, lonely Tex? Um, I have no reason not to attack with this, especially if you're Celestia. Sure. No blocks. Oh, how lucky. So we can actually play Stray and kill this guy. Or we can just play a Ceratok. Or we can play an Undercity Necrolisk. They have two cards in hand. So all we have to do is play around those. Yeah, we'll just play this guy. If we want to take three, that's fine. We can also deadweight this, which doesn't get rid of a guy, but it does make their... Huh. We can also deadweight that. Alright, this is... Oh, I don't feel like blocking this, but... I think blocking here is actually fine when they have one card in hand. And we have lots of ways to recur things. And we can just draw another Ceratok as well. I probably just want to play Gateway Plaza here. Because it lets us play two things next turn. Decline. No, man. I got to land up. Because now they have to give this flying, which they have probably have no issue doing because they have free mana. I ordered you a humorous hat. You'll receive it Tuesday. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's pretty incredible. What a time to be alive. Yeah, they're like, yeah, we can double block here and it's no profit to you. So you're just going to give this dude float. Wow. Wow. So one, two, three, four, five. So we can actually play a four drop. What are you gonna do here? Nothing. Yeah, having Notion Rain and Undercity Necrolisk in hand is nice because we can play both next turn. Double port call is fine. I am intrigued. Um, yeah, that's fine. Whew! Keep. Snap keep. I'll take the two rare split cards. Deal. Um. One, two... One, two, three. So we can actually play Necrolisk this turn, sack both of these next turn, and then play Find Finality. One, two, three, four, five, four, six. Yeah, we're doing that for sure. Mm. 
Yikes. I've ordered you a humorous hat! They're just gonna sack, but that's fine. We pressure them into doing that, which they probably would have done anyway. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah, just play all your guys out. Just play your whole hand out. I guarantee you it'll be worth it. Uh, yes. Kitty cat, submit. Um. Submit. Five five. Take action. Put the counters on you. <clears throat> five five and six five. Seems good. Good game. <laughs> yeah, figured that would probably do it. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. It's a hell of a game. Unless they're killing us right now. I'll say good game, but. I don't like if you say good game when the game's not over. Like, you gotta concede if the game's over. Wait till you see the hat, then we'll see what's ridiculous. Oh my god. Is it actually a hat, or is it a mask? Um... You know what? Sure. Also, they said good game when they were 21. If you're not gonna concede, then... I don't be saying good game. Uh, I don't care about any of those dudes. This is just good enough to play. Uh oh. Beetle time. Okay. Well, it still doesn't. So we just give this guy, give these guys no blocks. Huh. Okay, so they were just playing it out. They were just like, I'll have some I'll have some fun with it. We'll we'll goof around a little bit, but the game is over. Okay. I was born ready for game two. You don't know me. You don't know my life. Don't think Vapors is actually good against them. Prey upon might be. Problem is we don't have very many big creatures, but I think even like a wild Ceratok is actually good to, to prey upon. I'll take the disappearance out and bring prey upon in. I thought good game was arena for I have subtle the wreckage. Oh, you're attacking with all? Oh, good game. Uh subtle. Oh, that's good. Thank you. It but it was not GG, it was BG. Oh, actually, that makes sense for them to play it out, because if they do have a quest that's like, play 10 green spells, it just makes sense. Uh, keep. We got a dead weight, we got a 3 drop, 4 drop, perfect. Perfect. It's like the most beautiful hand I've ever seen. They also didn't mulligan, which is kind of rude. How about... <laughs> That's not the dude we're looking for. We are going to just play the other... Uh... The other land that gets us there, though. Because if we just draw runner-runner, maybe we just play this guy. I don't know. Oh, isn't that cute? Child of Night. Wario Cappy. A creature I'm not super thrilled with, but it will do its job here. 
Eh, it's doing like eh, it's still fine actually. Oh, keep it going. One more blue. I see. So they were on the play, actually, so they missed a land drop. Despite generous straying. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a problem. That should have also been a... Uh, what's known as... An island. Yep, venerated locks on is not great. I'm pretty sure this draft first started on Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones was released in theaters. It has been about two and a half hours. It has been a solid amount of time. I was really going to do just a quick... I mean, the drafts on Magic Online are a lot faster because they're only three rounds no matter what. And this is, got, this is our sixth round. Um, sure. But, you know, what can you do? We can block and necrotic wound this guy. But it really doesn't put us in good shape after that. I think I'm just going to take five here. Could be good. It's not, though. But it could be. It's not, though. Um, so we're going to actually play the big half. Keep up a swamp for a bit of Karotic Wound. Keep an island on top. Put this guy in. Actually, keep this on top. Yeah, that's pretty good. Still only one for Necrotic Wound, but... I mean, they can block with these two. And I think that's fine, because it puts a guy in our graveyard and gets two bodies off the board. They did not. Just very curious why the drafts are structured this way. Um, For value reasons, I would imagine. I like it better because then you get to keep drafting until you until you lose twice. So, I don't know. It seems fine. Also, it's very similar to other drafting drafting structures as uh, other digital card games. So it's mirroring the like you play until you get X losses or X wins, um, which a lot of people find to be good value. So it's just I think that's just the established system. Wow. Well, this is actually fine because we're just going to Deadly Vigil this guy next turn. So, our Deadly Visit? Candlelight Vigil? Candlelight Visit? Is this guy attacking? I'm not going to take 8 here. I'd rather just gain 2. Uh, Don't have Trample. Take it easy. Uh, we're keeping that on top. <clears throat> Plague Crafter is pretty bad. Uh, no. Combat. <clears throat> attack. Attack all. Two attackers. I guess we should have killed this first because there's no guy this blocks. Um, I'm just going to do it while you're tapped out. So. And the next turn, I'm going to play Knife Elf Predator. Seems good. I feel like we just kind of took back this game, so. Uh, that's fine when we have Knife Elf Predator in hand. No attackers. 
end of the turn. I mean, we have no cards in hand, but I'm sure we'll draw like Notion Rain off the top. Like you do. I mean, one, two, three, five, six, seven. You had eight mana last turn and you played Siege Worm. You had seven mana last turn and you played Siege Worm. So I can't imagine you have something bigger this turn, but yeah, that's fine. Golgari Guildgate. So you're at nine. I'm just gonna play this. We have no reason to hold it. If we do draw an ocean rain, I want to be able to maximize my mana. If we draw a a sword, oh, that's obnoxious. They just keep having things. Is really the problem. They don't really have profitable attacks here, though. I don't think this last card is a trick. So if they attack with the worm, I'm just gonna double block it. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. Mm -hmm. Deadly Vigil. <laughs> What's your record so far? I think we're 4 1. So this would be the, this is our winning match. Oh, that's pretty good. I kind of just want to kill this because then it puts them dead on board and we go up to 20, which is probably enough to... Uh... Um, this is a 4-3, this is a 3. I'm going to kill the 4-3 because the one power doesn't really matter here. But if they alpha, like we're in a position where the, the menace is relevant, we're also in a position where... Uh, they have to find a flying answer for this guy now. It gives us one more turn, or one. That gives them one less turn. So, like they have to have a flyer or a way to deal with Nightfell Predator, and I have a feeling they don't have it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, no blocks. I'm not even gonna block the two through here because. And I think we win this game. I can't imagine what they have here. Sure. Oh, they killed their own guy. Nice. Oh, that was a great draw too. But as you can imagine, not really relevant. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go eat some tacos, guys. Oh, thank goodness, this is over. What a what a grueling event this was. Five one, not too bad. Sweet. Adds a concierge. No, I don't care about that. Claim them prizes. 2100, six packs. Seems good. As usual, open the packs now. Because because you earned it, that's why. Oh, a sigiled sword of Valoran. A card played by no one. And... Oh, Runaway Steamkin. Alright, that is a playable card. Explosion Expansion. That is a playable card. Doom Whisper! It's your boy. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Mausoleum Secrets. Don't care about that. Oh, I do care about that. That is a nice rare wild card. Runaway steam can never going back. Donna Hope, that's a good one. Runaway steam can in my red deck. And Swift Blade Vindicator. All right, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, and MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can get 15% off, free returns, free shipping, and you get to support the stream and get a sweet, sweet, super comfortable product out of it. Thank you guys so much. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.